Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Civil Engineering Forum. Today we will learn how to make a 2D house plan manually on a drawing sheet without using any softwares like AutoCAD. So here I will explain this procedure step by step in detail. Now if you are willing to learn this 2D house planning in detail, do watch this entire video and don't forget to subscribe my channel Civil Engineering Forum. So these are our steps for planning. Know your built up area or decide your boundaries. Select a suitable scale. Draw a bubble plan, draw a line plan, draw a wall thickness plan, draw plan with doors and windows and the last one is writing text and showing measurements. Now one by one we'll learn all the steps in detail. Step number one is know your built up area or decide your boundaries. Here we are going to plan a single block of an apartment of which built up area that is the total usable carpet area plus the area of walls is 70 square meter. In this area, we will plan a 2 BHK apartment, that is a 2 bedroom hall kitchen apartment. Now we are dividing this 70 square meter area in 7 meter cross 10 meter plot size. In this plot area, we will plan for 2 BHK apartment. Then our step number 2 is selecting a suitable scale. We cannot fit this big area in a small A2 or A3 size drawing sheet. So in order to fix this, we need to take a suitable scale. And this scale should be selected in such a way that maximum part of our drawing sheet is utilized efficiently. At first we'll try with 1 meter is equal to 2 centimeter scale. Here we'll have to draw a vertical line of 10 meter that is 20 centimeter and horizontal line 7 meter that is 14 centimeter line. As our scale is 1 meter is equal to 2 centimeter. Now let us assume that this 20 centimeter line does not fit on our drawing sheet. Then we will select 1 meter is equal to 1.5 centimeter scale. Now this time we will have to draw a vertical line of 10 meter that is 15 centimeter and a horizontal line 7 meter that is 11.5 centimeter. Or if in our first preferred scale 1 meter is equal to 2 centimeter, if the drawing on our sheet is too small as compared to the drawing sheet size, then we will have to select a scale 1 meter is equal to 2.5 centimeter or we can even go with 1 meter is equal to 3 centimeter and so on. In this way, we need to select a suitable scale for drawing such that our drawing sheet is utilized efficiently. Now suppose our suitable scale here is 1 meter is equal to 1 centimeter. So on our drawing sheet, we are drawing 7 centimeter by 10 centimeter line like this. Because we already have mentioned our scale 1 meter is equal to 1 centimeter, we will mention our original unit on our drawing sheet that is 7 and 10 meter. Then our step number 3 is drawing bubble plan. Now this is called our key plan. Arrangement of all the components will be decided in this step. Approximately in form of bubbles we will decide the arrangement like this. Suppose you want your hall over here, one of the bedroom over here, dining room here, then common bathroom this side, then kitchen and wash area or gallery over here and other bedroom with attached bath in this way over here. Now this is our rough planning. Here we have still not shown all the rooms to the scale but alignments and arrangements have been decided. Next our step 4 is drawing the line plan. Here using a single line we need to make partitions over the bubble plan. This time we need to take care for the required areas for each room. Basically here we are deciding all the size of the rooms in making the partitions accordingly using a single line. Now this is our line plan. Then our next step is drawing wall thickness plan. In line plan we have used single line. Now here we need to define our wall thickness. The thing which is very significant over here is that there will be different wall thickness for internal and external walls. The walls on the exterior boundary is called exterior walls and those making inside partitions are termed as interior walls. The exterior wall thickness should be 0.23 meters and interior wall thickness should be 0.15 meter. Now this is our wall thickness plan. Then our step number 6 is drawing wall with doors and windows. Now in this way, based on our scale, after deciding the length of the doors and windows, we need to show this on the wall thickness in this way. And here our last step is writing text and showing measurements. In this way, we need to mention names of each room below which the dimensions are mentioned. Important here is that our first dimension mentioned should be for the horizontal distance measured, excluding the wall thickness. That is only the usable area. And the second dimension shown should be for the vertical usable distance measured according to our scale. And now our two dimensional planning is completed. So friends I hope this video was useful for you. If this is so just click on the like button and do subscribe my channel Civil Engineering Forum. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.